lesson 76 what happened to gold guys what happened to gold if you watched the video last week when i did on the gold we had a very good setup on a buy and all of a sudden gold decided to drop 250 pips if you're interested why gold went against us this is the video for you if you want update on gold this is the video for you, you have to watch until the end so what i've come to realize is that you have to stick on your strategy. For me, I will stick on my strategy and the strategy is not bad. I'll tell you where we messed in gold. There are two things that we didn't, uh, there are two things that made us mess up on gold. One was unavoidable. The second one was not unavoidable. It was not our mistake. Is the broker mistake? But anyway, let's first understand what gold wants to do this week for me i believe gold has a very good setup if only someone can understand and take opportunity you can make money so lesson 76 is about gold we got monthly time frame like i keep saying gold don't nobody should tell you like you should swing trade it why gold is on a ranging market since which year 2020 so i think the corona time the COVID time the market just entered in one place consolidated for three years. And let me tell you, any market that consolidate for three years, uh, 2024, the gold cannot be in this zone. It has to break. For me, what I've come to realize, the market may consolidate or range for three months, three weeks, but it can't do, ex it can't go beyond that. That's why you see the market moves in the three. So you'll see three days of buying and then the market change direction. Three days of selling the market change direction, three weeks of buying, they love three a lot. And now to just understand that it's three years since this ranging, it's time for this ranging to break it aside. And I'm not biased, guys. I cannot tell you for sure uh, gold will break above or below. That one, it won't even come from me. It can't co come from any retail trader. Why? Because as retail traders, we only react. We cannot predict. So it's me, I do my analysis like I'm doing. It's me, I set up everything. Then I come to react whichever direction the market will have been broken. So if this market decides to break above, that's what we have. If it decides to break above, that's what we have. If it decides to break below, that's what we have. Now, it doesn't mean that you will wait until the breaking of either side. Also, if you want to be sure and you want like a swing trader. And I know many people who are swing trading. They It doesn't mean they don't trade gold, but they don't hold the position for long. So for those people who are just the trading scalping, you can go to lower time frame and look for other patterns. But before even you go to lower time frame, I just want to show you a clear pattern here. We have a double bottom on gold. So this double bottom is telling you what? the market is on an up, the market is a buy. For me, that's what I believe. And this uptrend, this is our neckline. So most of the time, if the market has a double bottom, the market should go to the neckline if half is broken. And that's exactly what happened on gold. It broke, can you see? That bullish engulf, the October bullish engulf uh, broke. In fact, it was a bullish engulf, broke our half, and now it's headed to the neckline. And if this market um comes goes to the neckline, it's 1,287 pips. That's a lot. And you know, these pips in gold, it can even move two, three days. It's not, it's nothing to gold. Gold moves crazy. So you can see that the market has gone back to the half. If you can notice what happened here, the market, it's like it has retested the half area. So first of all, if we wanted to do uh, any, any order, we could have a uh, consulted half. Our trade, that is the first thing, guys. And this is where, I, as I have told you, there are mistakes we did in the trade that we entered a buy. Our goal will be, if we want to enter a trade, our very accurate area to enter is 1940. At least entering at 1940 will give you, um, it will give you an edge in the market. You will not be on, on big drawdown. Why? The market tends to test half. Now, I don't know if you can, is, is it making sense? Mostly when the market has a double bottom and they break half and they are headed to the neckline, they love coming to what? They love coming to the half to retest before they go up. And I believe the market is going to the 2000. That's what I believe, but I'm not biased guys. 
I'm not biased because we don't know how long, how far this market can go. We don't know. And if it can start to sell, it can be as a result of this activated double top. So if this market tends to sell the whole of this month and sell and sell, we will say it is sold because it, even if it had broke our half, it had activated our double top. But we cannot be challenged by this double top because even if you're challenged, you can't enter. There are rules to enter a sale. You wait for red candle. You check if it's bearish and gap. You check if half has been broken. So you see, for us, we can't know if the sale has entered, but what we know, the buyer has entered. So our main goal will be, because the trade closed above 1982, don't trade it when it is a 1982. Place your first buy limit at 1940 at the half. You see, that was the first goal. When we come to the weekly time frame, we are still seeing supporting, uh, supporting evidence of a buy. Because yes, this double bottom is still on the weekly and it was on the daily and both daily and weekly have confirmed the market is going to buy. We can see a very strong resistance being broken there. Can you see that strong resistance? It was broken. And this strong resistance, they never activated a, a double top. It will be if the double top was activated, we could be thinking maybe it is dropping because of that double top. So the resistance being broken on weekly, it is a, it's like um, a message that this market is on a buy. But how should you enter the buy is the question, guys. You see, weekly can tell you we will buy, but it has not authorized you to buy. So weekly said it will buy and the market starts to sell. So we want to know why did this market sell? Mostly for me, what I believe it came to retest that half. That was just a, a retracement. So if we go to the daily, now we have a proof of monthly supporting us and weekly supporting our buy. Now, if we go to the to the daily time frame, uh, there's this one candle uh, resistance that we might think, oh, maybe it's what making market go down. The market never activated that. So on the daily, still we are guaranteed that the market is on a buy. And it broke a small support, a small resistance that is not on the, let me put it column uh, blue so that you can see. You see on the daily, there's a, another resistance that has been broken that is not on the weekly. You see, there's no such a resistance on the weekly, meaning even daily is giving us double confirmation that this resistance has been broken. So if this resistance has been broken, it means the buyers are still stronger. So it's just that they can break and then they go for retracement. You don't know how far they will go. So the market has been selling. And for me, I'm thinking this is a, this is a, a retracement. That's what I think. So as long as I don't have a pattern to back what my analysis are, still I will be, it will be just analysis. So the market is dropping down. The market is dropping down. And we can't know until when. So when I was giving the trade, the market head was there. We didn't have this big red candle. So I gave the trade with this green candle and you can see 250 down. That's why I tell you and even told people use proper risk management because this is a trade and we all know how gold is. And for me to enter this buy, it was just, it was not guesswork days. So when I went on four hour, when I went on four hour. So this is this is um paper stone. I want to analyze with exactly the broker I was using. So let's do the broker I was using. Um I was doing Oanda. So we will analyze with the broker I was doing because you can see my analysis are here. I've not even deleted. So these were my analysis, guys. I did this video. If you have not gone to that video, it is very interesting. So having understood that monthly is a buy, weekly breaking of resistance, daily breaking of resistance, for a daily retracement. So we are looking for a way to get into that trade. So this is the retracement I'm talking about. And when the market was here, I looked at the distance. You can see. When I look at my left, there was a double bottom. 
So that's why I did my analysis, went on the daily time frame, checked there was no double bottom. So it was an accurate, that's how I trade. So it was not a matter of ignorance. For me, I don't do I, I don't do ignorance move. I'm past that stage of doing ignorance move. By the time I say buy, I have seen a strategy confirming. So I had seen a double bottom that is not on the daily. And I came and I saw a resistance break and that's what I have done. Now I want you to see on here, I don't have a red candle. So there was no alarming on this area. Can you see? There was nothing. I was not, there's no way I would have said this double bottom, what if it comes to this area? There was nothing, guys. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. There was nothing. But when the market starts to sell, I'm thinking, why is this market selling? What has just happened? And then that's when I went to Paperstone, the gold on Paperstone, and I discovered why I'm, I was saying there's nothing. In fact, there were two dangers. There was this red candle, the big weak, and there was a small support, a one candle support. Guys, like, how can broker do this to me? Surely. Do you know this changes everything when you are doing analysis? Why? Because if you are given um a trade, an entry, if you're given an entry, you will be like, what could make this market to come to this support? You have another mind. When you're trading such a trade and you find a support area and you have been given, you have two support. Um, one has activated a double bottom. Your mind is thinking, what can make this market activate the second support? And that's how you start jog jogging your mind. And you will find things that you can't ask yourself when you just have a double bottom that does not have a, like I felt bad to, to discover, I was like, and that's what happens most of the time. I've come to realize many people don't lose money because they were ignorant. They lose money because the broker, they have given them the wrong thing. And you see, we trade because of the candles that we see in the market. Imagine if instead of a bearish candle, the broker doesn't give you a bearish candle. It is impossible to trade. So this is concerning to me and even to you guys who does not realize that when you start perfecting a strategy, when you have a very good perfected strategy, your enemy now is the broker. Why? Because that strategy, most of the time, if it's a price action strategy, it relies on the candle pattern. So if the broker gives you a very big week, you don't understand, is this week genuine or not? So for me, I want people to comment down below, how do you deal with that, surely? One, one broker, the Oanda is telling me there was nothing. So for me, I felt safe on this trade. I could not, there's no way I would have asked myself if it comes down. But the market, this is what we had. We had a zone here. So by the time I was giving an entry around this area, you can see, by the time I was giving an entry, a resistance has broken. They, the, the market makers were targeting the second double bottom, which was not available on Oanda. Like that, even to think. So if you're on Oanda, do you know you'll not trade buy? Why? You will trade a sell. And that's what they confuse you. Because you'll say support has been broken. There's nothing that you're trading on the left. There's no, you can say you have a double bottom. So even for me right now, I don't know which they will use. Will they use the one that has a double bottom or will they assume it? So even for me, I, I'm not sure how gold will play out. So let's 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 deal with. So for me, not having this support, there was I it didn't click my mind that it can come down. But now, now looking things differently, this is how I would have traded this trade. Realizing now I want to show you the right trading when you have zones. So after realizing I would I can have a possible double bottom around that area and this area, it was just a matter of time to ask myself what could have made the market come to the second one and not the first one. Yes, the, the resistance has been broken. The resistance has been broken. And both of them, 
both of them broke that resistance. You can see both of them. Funny thing, Oanda, for some reason, see how even different it is. They, they are breaking resistance with only one candle. Can you see? It's only one candle. But this one, paper stone, it is two candles. So how even do you, do you even explain that? How did they move from two candles? Can you see how totally different this thing is? It's like you're treating a different chart. So the first candle, this one has two candles only, one small and one big that has broke. But paper stone, doesn't have one small. The first one is the biggest. Like it is confusing for me. Even I felt, I feel cheated. Like I feel like it's not fair. It's not fair when it comes to brokers and they cannot give us accurate results. And this is what makes me tell you guys. Now in that such a case, how would you apply your own knowledge if the Holy Spirit cannot enlighten you in this? If the Holy Spirit tells you, wait a minute, you want to buy. Check Oanda, check FXM, check Capital. If you see they are not relating, first stay away. If the Holy Spirit won't counsel you and guide you, there's a, this is where I can even tell you for sure, your knowledge now comes to an end. And this place is where it comes to an end. Because how can you tell me one broker, paper stone, has two candles, but the other one has only one big candle. Can you see big candle? That has broke. Anyway, let's focus on the paper stone. I told you guys I trust paper stone. So for me, I think I will shift from FXM and I go to paper stone. For, for some reason, I'm finding paper stone having genuine, um, genuine, what it we call genuine candles formation. So from now, I don't want to trade FXCM because even FXCM, it would have messed me on USD card. I've just done video on USD card where FXCM has broke, Oanda has not, and Paperstone has not. So I want to stick on Paperstone for, the, for at least one month so that I can have a clarity on what, on what I'm analyzing. So if I was analyzing Paperstone, I'm told to buy, but I'm seeing this market, what if it comes here? This alone would have made this trade not as easy. And then there's another thing, guys, I missed. My, my, my half could not start here because of this week. You can see the other one does not have this week. So the half was starting here. But now this time, even half will be different. So I'll calculate my half, guys. So everything will be different. So when I calculate my half, there was no RBS. The other one, there was RBS. You see, everything changes. So here there is no RBS, so I'll be careful. Any trade that does not have RBS, most of a double top or a double bottom, you have to be careful. So knowing that no RBS, it would have made me even be one that not to enter with the first uh, signal. Now, because the market has told me to enter, I would even have gone to maybe flip to see there is no obstacle. So I flip like two hours to just see there's no obstacle and see this obstacle would have made me know the double top that you're seeing can cause the market to continue going down. And that's exactly what happened. The market has gone down and it has gone half of this distance, which is, um we call it what? Which is the most guaranteed. So the question is, will gold buy with now given double bottom? Can you see? The reason I'm explaining why gold sold, it's because of a double top on two hours that I didn't even pay attention. That was my fault. I cannot blame that on the broker because even the broker that I was using still had that double top. You can see? So both brokers had that double top. So if I flipped on one broker and the other, if I flipped on on Oanda, I would have spot it. So that one is not a mistake of the broker. That is on me. I take whole, res like I'm responsible of missing a double top. But you see now, 
for me i thought there's nothing they are going for on the on down there so it was not making sense for the market to sell but now it makes sense why they they would leave that one support so that if they activate this double top they can sell with a genuine reason now the question is as we now trade fresh this is our question so i delete everything this is the fresh analysis on gold this is the fresh analysis on gold i have a double bottom here which i don't know if it exists or not imagine that's where we are now with these brokers because if i check on the other broker which is Rwanda, guys comment down below let me know which pattern which broker do you use there is no double bottom here so according to the other broker do you know what they are giving us they are giving us a cap and handle so Oanda is telling us this market will continue to sell because it has a cap and handle <laughs> and um the paper stone is telling us they still hope for this double bottom to work the question is, which broker will these people use? Or which broker is telling us the truth? For me, I feel only the Holy Spirit who can reveal to me. So I have asked the Holy Spirit either to reveal it in a dream that I can know our fate, because according to Oanda, already a cap and handle has been activated, guys. And the best thing with this cap and handle, using BWA, it won't go direct. It has to buy fast. And that's the best thing will have come out of this trade. So we don't want to be in a trade where it is a tag of war. So once you are redeemed or the market just retrace a bit, just close your trade so that we can see when we are outside. You don't learn when you have a trade because you're always blinded. You don't want to be blinded by the trade. So gold analysis, if I check half of it, the market has to come there. But because this gold and uh, the cup and handle has BWA, my students know what BWA means. Uh, because it has BWA, when the market has BWA, do you know where it goes? It goes to the half of that double bottom. So most probably the market will go to 1970 because of the, the cup and handle is up. The inverted cup and handle is supporting a uh, fast buy before it sell but the, the thing is this market does not have high chances of buying if the buy has started like that it has no high chances of buying so we need to realize even the half of this cup and handle is another support area where we can have a possible double bottom you see now when i see this support my mind starts to jog what can make this market to come down and let me tell you this Cup and handle is the only thing that can make that market to come down. And because it has already happened, just prepare in advance. So the question is, Oanda, for me, I'm seeing a cup and handle. And that is, that's the case, an inverted cup and handle. But the best thing with BW, the market first will buy. Because when you use BW strategy, the market first buy. There's the way you check and you can know. Will it buy first? It will buy to the half and then come down. And the first guarantee, the most guaranteed take profit is the half. So it can even activate a new double bottom. So the question is, is this double bottom on the daily? So let's check on the daily. It's still on the daily. So when the double bottom is on the daily, anything on four hour ceases to exist. So we, we will flip to daily time frame. Now that is Oanda. This is the time frame you are using. The time frame now that we have decided to start using is paper stone. According to paper stone, we don't have something like cap and handle. Why? Because even if you can check the 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 week, the cap and handle, the market has activated a new pattern. That's what I mean. So we don't have a cap and handle. We have a double bottom. And let's check this double bottom. It's not on the daily. So we have to confirm. That double bottom is not on the daily. With the history of what the double uh the the buyers have been doing on higher time frame, for me, I think this double bottom will work. I, I don't know if they will whichever pattern they will use, and that's why I don't want to be in the mix. I want if the market can buy, I just come out and I will watch it at a time. So that's what the market has. It has that double bottom. And you see that double bottom. So the question is. 
will it give us CRB? Here it gave us CRB, it didn't work. But we knew why, because it activated a new double top. The reason why CRB, and I want to tell you guys, the strategy is not bad. The reason why the market broke with a green candle and the market proceeded, it's because on two hours, there was a new pattern formed. Can you see? There was a new pattern formed. Notice, if we get a CRB, there is no chances of a new pattern being formed on two hours again. So if we get a CRB, and let me tell you again, this market can buy without giving us a CRB. Why? Because they know many people are waiting on CRB. So you might find when gold opens tomorrow, the market can even buy with a green candle. This can happen. The market can buy with a very green candle. That's our first buy. It can buy with a green candle. Then the next one, a very green candle. And it gets to the high. So the market can do that. The, it can come from where it is and buy how many pips? 355 pips nonstop. And let me show you evidence. It's like here. The market can start buying here. One, two, three. So those three candles, let's see the distance. They cover 268. You can see they continue without having a resistance. What if it does like here? The market just buy like this. We have evidence where gold has bought 622 pips without having a resistance created. So it's not a wonder. Tomorrow on Monday, this market buys without giving you an entry for this. So what happens is that we just need to know that for you to enter now gold, if you have not entered, wait for CRB. That's what I want. And I keep insisting CRB. I keep insisting. The reason why this trade didn't work how we wanted, it's because it activated a new pattern. The strategy is not at fault here. So guys, what I would suggest is that anytime you have a double bottom and an entry, CRB has happened, or you have a double top, CSB has happened, current resistance break. I want to urge you to always flip through the different brokers because like you, USD card would have been missed. The market is suggesting that it has broken current support, but other brokers, they have not. So for me, from now henceforth, I'm team Paperstone. I have this FXCM for some reason, because how can they tell me USD card is a sell and it is not on Paperstone? So for now, I want to use Paperstone as my official broker for analysis. Why? Because if I use one broker, I will be able to maneuver. And, and you see Paperstone, um, they, they just, they, they don't have manipulative, uh, they are called what manipulative wicks and 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 candlesticks. That's why I'm choosing a uh, paper stone. So what we need to observe here is how will the week turn on gold? What is the majority? What are majority waiting? Because you see this this the market can even come here to create a double top, to create that double top. And both brokers they have that green candle. So even this one, the market can come here and stop at this area why they want to create a possible double top now to make the market sell that's why i'm saying once the market goes to the area where you entered because i know many people are in drawdown if you enter this trade just comment down below it was not my intention for you to be on drawdown it was from mistakes my mistake and the broker mistakes and we learn from the mistakes so don't be harsh on yourself more so you will learn when you do these mistakes. If you analyze a chart and you can see where you went wrong, just know you are growing. Many people are fearing to make mistakes. They don't like trading. They have capital in their account, but they have not placed a trade. Let me tell you, if you have deposited a money, I'm talking to you, you, you have deposited money and you have not placed your first trade. Let me tell you, money is replaceable. If money gets lost on the way and you are learning, it is replaceable. Don't fear. Losing money is a way to tell you what you have lost, you can gain back. It's like a message. If you lose $10, it's a message to the universe, to God, that God, I have lost $10. It means even it's word. The word has said, whatever you have lost, you can even get it in double portion. That's a word written in the Bible. So if you lose $10, it tells you that I can now start making $10. 
if you upgrade and you you when you lose you lose fifty dollars it's uh it's uh god telling you now i've graduated you you can now start to make you fifty dollars if you start losing a hundred dollar like a trade i know many people here lost hundred dollars two hundred dollars if you start losing in hundreds of dollars it means you can start earning in hundreds of dollars if you lost a thousand dollars it means now your level for earning is a thousand if you lose in millions let me tell you, if you Forex has taken your millions, you have to proclaim those millions back. Why? Because God is a God of restoration. He restores us. And you see, for me, I have feared gold for the, for the longest time. But what I've said, gold will be one of my best. Uh, it's not a currency. I think it's a metal. It will be one of the metals to trade. Why? Because it's volatile. It has good money. And if you understand it, you can make good money and it does not consolidate a lot if it consolidates you leave it so i will not fear to trade this fear again i will not fear to trade gold again like i have had that fear for the longest time but just understanding that you can have an edge on it and now you involve the holy spirit because i keep telling you guys it's not like esther knows a lot i have just allowed myself to be trained by the Holy Spirit. I have released my soul, my heart, my mind, my everything. Like when I look at the task, I always tell God, I cannot, I cannot see everything that these eyes can see. Sometimes if my eyes can lie to me. Sometimes even whoever is controlling this market can try to manipulate it like the candles are being manipulated. But there's a spirit that is true and that is the Holy Spirit that comes in you and makes everything perfect. So I want to cancel the spirit of fear. Father God, I cancel the spirit of fear. Anyone who have watched this video to the end, I want to cancel the spirit of fear. Many people have lost with this fear called gold and majority have decided they never trade it again. Lord, I want to bring their confidence back. I want them to trust on you because you're the one who give us the ability to create to the world. They will start focusing on what you're telling them. They will learn from their mistake. They will not fear. And for those God who do not have capital, they have been on their demo accounts for a very long time. God, I want you for this month of November, you have said that this is the month for open doors. Father God, I want you to open doors for them. Open doors for them, oh God. I pray that every locked door in their finances is open so that they may get the capital that they have always wanted. And Father God, for those who have not known you, oh Jehovah, for those who kept hearing Holy Spirit and they have not experienced you, for those who don't have the, uh, the slight idea of who is the Holy Spirit, as they listen to me, may you reveal yourself to them. Because at the end of the day, your word is what will not end. This forex will end, but your word will not end. Reveal yourself to them so that as they trade, they know that God, you're the one who gives them the ability to create wealth. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best. Love you. Bye-bye.